Trisha needs to get up and say, I've had it, Colleen, and this is out. And say, get out of here, demon, and kick her out. Did Trisha Paytas respond to Colleen Ballinger's accusations? Let's talk about it. What's up guys, this is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. All right, so Trisha Paytas had a pinned comment that said, I'm relatable AF. Now, Spill Some Tea With Me posted this on their Instagram page. And it said, it looks like Trisha unpinned the tweet about her podcast with Colleen. Do you think they're gonna continue the podcast? So a lot of people are saying that this is Trisha Paytas' subtle way of disavowing her relationship, her friendship with Colleen Ballinger. And I thought to myself, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. How does her unpinning a tweet say anything? It could also say a lot, but here's what I gather. So Trisha has had that pinned tweet on her profile promoting her podcast with Colleen, right? And now that she suddenly deleted the pinned tweet, she's not promoting the podcast with Colleen anymore. And that's why people are speculating, since Trisha unpinned her tweet promoting their podcast, that it means that she's not gonna do a podcast with Trisha anymore, that it means she's going to disavow, and a lot of other friends are being involved with Colleen Ballinger. Now, that I know of, like I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really know much about Colleen Ballinger and the huge fandom. I know that she was very popular with the character she had, Miranda Sings. But some of the friends that Colleen Ballinger has had is like, I don't know, Manny Amy Way, James Charles, Trisha Paytas, Joey Graceffa. Or Miranda. <laughs> right, um, depending on which, when, where she's at. Colleen is the best because she needs 10 of these fans. She is the most hateful, shadiest. I love her. Like, whenever we hang out, uh, literally the first words out of her mouth are, okay, like, what do you got? Who do you hate? Who's next? Or Miranda. <laughs> right, um, depending on which. Shane Dawson. I, I think they were friends, right? But the reason why this is such a big deal with, with Trisha and Colleen is because... I think the audience, and this is just me just thinking out loud, as I believe that the audience sees them together more now, since they have this podcast, they have a working relationship even more closer than before, and it's so current that everyone's thinking like, Trisha needs to disavow! Trisha needs to get up and say, I've had it, Colleen, and disavow! And say, get out of here, demon, and kick her out. But I don't think Trisha's gonna do that, girl. I think Trisha's way too nice to sit up there and do that to Colleen so publicly. Maybe because she feels like Colleen can destroy her or she feels that Colleen has dirt on her or whatever. I honestly, you know, like, it was like, what, a couple months ago, years ago, yesterday, who knows. I was, I mean, we're, Trisha Paytas, back when she was like <laughs> very scandalous, it was, I was making video after video after video. I mean, it was getting views the house. It was a hot topic. And then she died down. We stopped making them because she wasn't in any drama. And I was like, I don't think I'm gonna make any more Trisha Pace videos anymore. She's not really doing anything, you know? I'm not gonna sit up here and say, oh, guess what guys, Trisha Pace woke up. Oh my gosh, guys, we have huge news. Trisha Pace went to bed. No, it, it's boring the house. All that to say this is here we are again, talking about Trisha Paytas when I feel like she has been doing really good. And I hate to say this, but I don't think, I mean, from a drama standpoint, oh, I love the old Trisha. But from a human standpoint, I like the new Trisha. I'm just keeping it real. When Trisha Paytas was out there calling out people left and right, it was views, it was scandalous, it was drama. But now that she's calmed down, I think she's doing a lot better for herself mentally. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And she is being held to the fire because people want her to say something. A lot of the focus is Trisha needs to disavow, Trisha needs to speak up, especially, and I'm tell you what, it's so many factors why, this is like the word, this is like hard, okay. So you have, let's just say over here, right? You got like Manny and Way and James Charles, oh, good more seats right here. I gotta wrap it up, my tacos are coming with Uber Eats. So check this out. You got uh, James Charles, Manny Mouet, Shane Dawson, and Joey Graceffa, all friends with Colleen, okay? And they haven't said anything because you know me, girl, I like, I, I'm the main one. Let's keep the same energy. If you're gonna wanna call out Trisha for friends, for being friends with Colleen, then why not these people over here? Very much so. 
But I think the reason why people are foc hyper focusing on Trisha and Colleen is because just in the last month, they've been really filming together. They've been in the eye again, off the heels of the Frenemies podcast and how great that was and how tumultuously it ended. And then you have this over here. They're starting a new podcast. People are talking about it. And especially because Trisha has been so vocal on situations of trust when the person comes forward, uh, you know, the victim, trust the victim, believe the victim and stuff like that. And just disavowing like the whole James Charles situation. And then in this case, it's just crickets. That's why people are like, what? You said all that? Okay, so keep that over here. So we go back over here to the James and the, uh, with Shane Dawson and all the other people, Joey Graceffa. It's like, I'm pretty sure, I like to think that they don't agree with, uh, you know, people of age talking to minors inappropriately. So I'm pretty sure that that same way too. But the reason why people are so hyper-focused with Trisha, because I think she's been the most vocal and she's filming with her on a one hour podcast where these people, even though they probably have done podcasts with her and they have done videos with her and things of that nature, I think that they're, they're not as close, at least at least that we think. Because from public eye, it looks like Colleen and Trisha are very close right now. Whereas over here, maybe not as close anymore. So I get why people are wanting to gather everyone involved, but I can see why a lot of people online are saying, no, Trisha needs to disavow. She's a mom now. She's been so vocal before. She's working with her currently. She needs to say something, all right? And I always said, I said this in my video the other day, if you haven't watched it, check it out. I said in my, vi my video the other day, I said, you know, I think it's very much a very Trisha Paytas thing to do of her dropping a video, doing something like, let me see, how are her seats right here? Let me pull them up. Like right here, look, Trisha Paytas posted this video called, I'm being a Karen, is this bad? Okay. I'm, look. Hey guys. big mirrors installed in my glam room. Uh, we waited three, three years before we moved to this house to get them. They're very expensive. They were a little over $5,000. Okay. So in this video, she posted one day ago, it has 23,000 views. Uh, it says, am I being a Karen or is this a bad customer service? Everyone. And then she also says, make sure you like the video. Rich Lux is number one in the world and I love him so much and subscribe to his YouTube channel because he can't get a like to save his life or a comment or a like. So there you go. That's what she says right here. You can't really see it. It's really small. What she says. All right. But in the comment section of that video, and I'm scrolling through. There's comments about like, are you going to address Colleen? And then people are even saying there's some being uh, deleted. Like, you're not being a Karen, blah, blah, blah. The Mirror Company, $5,000. Like, people aren't really talking about Colleen in it, but I have seen it. So I know that her audience is talking about, are you going to address the Colleen situation? I mean, you're going to tell me not one comment. So either she's deleting or Moja's putting in overtime. Or they just want to move past it and like, that's not my drama. That's not me. I don't care about that. That's don't involve me in it. Trisha could easily in this video that I just showed you halfway through the video say, Hey guys. So I know there's a lot of stuff going on with Colleen right now. I honestly don't know what to believe. I haven't spoken to her and with time, hopefully I can sit and talk to her. We can catch up about it until then. I want to respect our friendship and I just want to move on and we will talk about it. I'm waiting for her to say something like that, something like that. You know, it's very hard, whatever. But for her to just not address it all, at all, I think this makes people like even more upset or want her to address it even more. But I think the main focus is on Colleen. The main focus should be Colleen apologizing, not Trisha apologizing for Colleen, not Trisha, you know, like that. You know, I, I very much feel like this puts Trisha in a very... What do you call that that analogy I'm a, a, between a rock and a hard place or something like that? I think this really puts Trisha in that in that state of mind because she was doing pretty good. And then now Colleen Badger, Miranda Sings is the drama, you know, 
And Trisha's sitting there like, oh, dude, am I just att attracting this drama? Why? Or why does this keep happening? I think that's what's going on. So by her unpinning the tweet or unpinning the pin, whatever it was, I don't even know. By her unpinning, promoting the podcast, I think it could mean that she's done. That's just my opinion. My opinion. The f and y'all can have your own. By Trisha unpinning it, I think she just wants less drama going her way. Hands down. And I wouldn't be surprised, surprised if Trisha does one or two things. Says, you guys, I'm no longer working with Colleen Ballinger right now. I just want to move forward and move on. We thought it's in the best interest for us to stop the podcast as of right now. Or say, you know, I uh, am a really good friend to Colleen Ballinger. Miranda sings. Um, there's some stuff going around about her right now. Some very serious things. And... I don't agree with everything that she has done. I'm pretty sure she doesn't agree with things I have done, but I want to just keep moving. And we're going to continue the podcast. She could double down that way. Because that's the, the same situation that happened with like the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star thing when Jeffree Star straight up said, I, I don't agree with everything Shane Dawson has done. But the Shane Dawson I know is a good friend. I mean, Trisha could say the same thing to, to Colleen and say, I don't agree with everything Colleen has done in the past, but the Colleen I know today is a good person, and that's what I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on the past. She could say that, and then there you go. But I think that Trisha doesn't want the drama. She wants a stress-free life, and she might not even say anything at all. So I'm very, I'm torn. I don't know what's going to happen, but I think that was Trisha Paytas responding to the drama. I think this was Trisha Paytas responding to Colleen Ballinger by the unpinning of promoting the podcast. That's my opinion, my conspiracy, and let it be. So let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, I love you so much.